is the third video. This video series, and here, uh, so in, in our previous video, we have some issues, right? So it will be a part of that issue we, we need to fix in this video. So before that, guys, so I I am doing some kind of modification into the current code, especially in HTML template and our first API. So those are just a modification, and at the end of this video you will can see how we can fix this uh, view circular view part issue right it's a simple issue we, we did in mistake in a certain video so stay with this video you can at the end of this video you can find out how you can fix this issue right uh, here we have some issue right so we Yes, control. So this is the next API. So then I'm not fine. So more than that, guys, I need to add some modification here because this is we are making time different. So so we have to add this time different extension here. Some randomness. Oh. 
So we need some dependencies in our phone section, right? So here this template is a time dependent, but I couldn't define I couldn't insert that uh, time with uh, dependency in our founder XML, right? That was the reason uh, we got uh, that issue, right? So we use all the issue. So I search in, uh, in Google and find out so we need to add this uh, maven dependency right that was the reason circular view path exception from, from the spring boot side so if the dependencies you want to add so at the end of this video i'll insert uh, all the uh, dependencies right uh, here you need to add this dependency right so once you add it uh, you need to, to maven install and Once clean and build, then you can restart your server. Right? Okay, so uh, once you go there, guys. So I tested in in offline so once you hit the url you can see this window right this button is come from a stripe so we need to add some css for the alignment you see that there's no any alignment we have added so we need to add some css class so other point is guys so once you hit this url uh, i need to come this need to assign this amount to there right for that there are some data binding parts there so if you go this there check out here you want to bind this data right so time leaf uh, we need to add some expand here right and uh, inside this expand right? so we can uh, add data right so we're not adding the data so we can bind data right inside it using expand so time if we have time if that so text and single quotation inside that place you can add this parenthesis mount right then you can divide because 
and it insert in the data so I have show some checkout controller if you can see we have increment this value to amount like this and this is the way we are sending amount property to stripe libraries right but when we show in, in this html page we need to divide it uh, right we need to divide so this amount then only we can show a correct amount right there are two way there are, there are two way when they when the sending the value to the stripe pen we need to multiply this value right so this is the way we are dealing with the amount with the stripe so we need if you want to display this amount you need to divide like this then you can get the exact amount okay then all right so if you want you can add here some css this CSS tags right style it I need to change this font font style this HTML template okay so this is started when I hit this there yeah right so I can able to get this amount here right that's what I have wanted so I need to add some CSS uh, values to align this button into the middle, right? see this is come from this right side right so I add, I add no more margin So I add some uh, more margin here, right? So then you can see uh, it come from the right side. So so okay, the UI wise, so you can change in your own. 
So what I need to do is I want you to show is uh, this implementation of this uh, stripe button, right? So once you click, guys, you can see uh, this uh, stripe UI will be triggering, right? Then this this is the amount you can show here. Here you can add email card number, right? And uh, the same thing, right? In usual way when you're going to do some online payment, you need to add this property here, right? So then uh, this from this onwards we need to develop some sort of code to this uh, how to get this uh, stripe response from the other side right so once you click this pay button the rep stripe request go to this stripe servers and he, it they return some kind of response right this response we need to catch and we need to render in our own way and we need to persist this response in our local database right that's that's the next task we need to do